Hi you guys, it's Pam, your Long Beach Yogini of the Soul Long Beach Yoga Festival. I'm here in these really beautiful surroundings. I'm at a little ranch here in Fallbrook, California, which is at the northern part of San Diego County, a little bit near Riverside. So today what I'd like to do is I'd like to give you like an early morning yoga flow. Um, this flow is something that can um, kind of just get the body awakened, kind of move you into a more positive space to start your day. So what I'm gonna do is kind of like recreate you being in your bed. So I'm gonna lay down on my mat and pretty much coming into a position of what we call Shavasana. So this is you in your bed. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your feet together and we're gonna just kind of point and flex those toes. Maybe starting to awaken the feet, rotating the ankles in both directions. And then we're gonna keep the toes pointed. Then we're gonna stretch that arm, each arm overhead and we're gonna stretch and extend those fingertips to the wall behind us. This is gonna be what we call an early morning stretch. We are realigning, recharging our spine. You might wanna take your hands and start to rotate the wrist in both directions, maybe start to wiggle the fingers, maybe alternating between opening and closing the fist. And then very gently, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend into that right knee. And we're just gonna bend the knee. We're gonna interlace the hands and we're gonna place the interlaced hands below that right kneecap. Very important that you don't place pressure on the knee joint. And we're just gonna just hold for a couple of breaths here. And then we're gonna leave that right palm right there on the knee. And we're just gonna do a little bit of hip rotation here. Remembering in yoga, whatever we do in one direction, we wanna take it in the opposite direction as well. And then bring that knee back to home. And let's just keep that right knee bent. Let's bring the left knee into our chest. Then straighten out the right leg. Again, interlacing those hands below that left knee joint. Hold for a breath here. And we're just very slowly opening up the body. We're not doing any very quick movements or any kind of jerky movements. We're just taking it one breath at a time. Take that left palm on the left knee and just start to rotate that knee joint in both directions. Just a little opening of the hip. Then we can bring that right knee back up to meet the left knee. We just want to just kind of hug the knees. Maybe if your body feels up to it, you can take a nice breath here. And as you exhale, you can bring the knees maybe just a little bit closer to your chest if that feels good. Now your feet can be flexed. That's a little bit more intense or you can just leave the feet as is, whatever feels good. And then we're gonna take our arms and we're just gonna stretch them out to the side, kind of like in a T. And we're gonna flex the feet again, only if that feels good. We're gonna take a nice breath in. And then as we exhale, we're gonna take both of our knees over to the right side. Now, for your neck, you can either look straight up at your ceiling or you might wanna take that gaze over that left shoulder. And we want to just kind of um, focus our breath into this area here. This is our side body. This is where we get in a lot of breath. So we're just opening up the body. This is really important in the morning because you're just trying to get every your body and the body systems, you want to get it going. So we're going to bring our gaze back to the center. If you can turn to the left, we're going to bring the knees back to our chest them a little hug. You might be able to actually take an inhale breath and you might be actually able to just draw those knees just a little bit closer. Only if that feels good to you. We're going to stretch those arms back out to a T. Flex into the feet again if that feels okay. 
Take that rep in, and then take both knees over to that left side. Gaze can be up ahead. For me, it would be gazing at the sky, which is really beautiful. Or taking that gaze over that right shoulder. This time, breathing into this area here, sending the breath to that right side body, creating that space, opening up that respiration. The more breath you can bring into your body, the more vitality that you can bring into your body as well. And we, we need that to start our day. It's a great way to um, start your day with this morning flow. We're gonna bring the gaze back to center, bring those knees back to center. We're gonna bring the knees to the chest. This time we're gonna do something just a little bit different. We're gonna rock side to side. And what we're doing is we're getting into that lower back region. We're just giving our back just a little bit of a massage. You can do a couple of breaths there. And then we're gonna take ourselves, we're gonna bring ourselves very nicely into a seated position. So I would suggest that you stretch your hands out like this. And then just using a little momentum, just come up to a seated position. Now, if this is feeling really good to you, that, that motion of rolling back and forth, of course, you can do a few spinal rolls right like that, if that feels good. Otherwise, find a comfortable seated position in your bed, which could be with your feet stretched out in front of you. Um, you could go cross leg. Uh, right now, this feels really good to me. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take some neck uh, movements here, maybe connecting the breath. As you inhale, we're just gonna gaze upward. And we wanna remember to let our shoulders be relaxed. And just do a couple of uh, movements like that, breathing, looking up, exhaling, chin to chest. Once you bring your head back to that center position, we're gonna do some neck circles you choose whatever direction feels good to you. And to just keep that balance, we want to make sure that whatever we do in on one side, we take it to the other side as well. And be mindful as you go through this practice, it is in the morning, but you know, be mindful of how your neck feels, maybe how your shoulders feel. So you're just like opening up the body and also just having a little bit more uh, self-awareness. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just do some detoxing twist here. We're gonna take that right hand, we're gonna place it behind our back, and we wanna have that uh, right arm nice and close to the spine. I'm gonna actually cross my legs for this one. We're gonna take that left hand, place it on the right knee, nice and light. Take that inhale breath, and as you exhale, just take that gaze over that right shoulder. Try to keep the spine nice and tall. We want that energy to go all the way from our uh, root chakra all the way up to our um, crown chakra. So we wanna have that uninhibited flow. If it feels good to you, you might wanna breathe in again. Use that left palm to the right knee and twist maybe just a little bit deeper. Some mornings this may feel good, other mornings maybe not so much. And we're gonna bring that gaze back to center. We're gonna do the other side, taking that left arm, placing it close behind our back, placing that right palm to the left knee, taking a breath first. And then as we exhale, just a little gentle pressure to that left knee, taking that gaze over that left shoulder. And twists are really good for our body at any time of the day. It's kind of like wringing a like out a beach towel in a way like you're wringing out like the the blood that isn't necessarily good or has toxins and you're bringing that vibrant fresh blood into the body take a nice inhale here and as you exhale if that feels good to you take a little bit deeper twist bring your gaze back to center we're gonna finish this off with a forward fold. So we're gonna inhale. And we're gonna bring those fingertips up nice and high. You might feel a little bit of a stretch in your shoulders. 
Stretch and extend those fingertips. Maybe if it feels good to your neck, take that gaze upward. Before going into our forward fold, bring your neck back to that center position. Take a breath first. And as you exhale, place those palms out in front of you on your bed. Keep your head nice and low. This way we allow the weight of our head to do the stretching rather than us overextending our body. I'm sure you can feel a really nice lower back stretch there. Try inhaling here and maybe just walk those fingertips out just a little bit further. Some mornings it will be a lot easier to go deeper here. Now you might want to take another few breaths to uh, go deeper in this position or you might want to gently walk those hands back. Once we come back to our seated position, we're going to take that inhale breath. We're going to bring those hands overhead and we're going to let those palms touch, make that connection. And this is more for you, not so much physically, but just for your emotional and spiritual part of your day. We're going to draw those hands down to heart center. Relax the shoulders, tuck the chin slightly. Eyes are closed. And before we start our day, we're just going to say that whatever the day holds, we will be adequately prepared to handle it. We will have the strength, the courage, and just the positive attitude to be able to do whatever is before us. I thank you for joining me. Allow me to guide you in this morning practice. I hope it helps you. I hope it serves you. And with that, we always seal our practice with Namaste, which means that the divine light that I see in you is merely just a reflection of what I actually possess within myself. Thank you so much. Please make sure you keep on top of all the Seoul Long Beach Yoga Festival news. You can go to our page, you can go to our website. Tickets are still available, so get your ticket today. And again, have a good day. I hope you enjoyed this flow.